Hi, we are Sarah and Chad, and we just built a tiny home named Journey in order to travel around the country learning about life, love, and the art world. Today's video is all about building our kitchen. come to when you enter our house is the kitchen. So I'll start with the water system. One of the biggest complaints of a lot of tiny home and van lifers is that the pumps for water or having water down below and using a pump isn't really effective um, or is just really annoying and so Chad's dad actually came with the idea of just using gravity to be what pressurizes our water system. So we have two five gallon jugs that are mounted here at the top of the kitchen and we have spouts that we squeeze on and off to get the water to come through and then they go down the sink and drain into a jerry can so a thin tall can that serves as our gray water tank next to our gray water tank is our trash can thanks to container store who had real slender cans uh, that we were able to use in order to maximize space next to it so we could have as much storage as possible in our kitchen so we custom built our drawer system to have storage. We have three drawers that hold our um, appliances, our kitchen supplies, and then we have a whole drawer for our utensils and our cutlery. And then we also made a pull out so we could have an extended countertop. So our countertop is a pretty cheap linoleum that we just secured on there. The important thing was that we had enough space for our cooktop. So our cooktop is stored in another section and we bring it down and we put it on our countertop. And then because we are cooking we needed a backsplash and we went ahead and went with a real tile backsplash that Chad's aunt helped us install. We wanted a sink that left us with enough room to be able to put our burner on our counter space and not be too constricted with food prep area but that still had a decent amount of depth so we wouldn't get annoyed while washing dishes. To find a single sink with that kind of width and the depth we were looking for was actually impossible. So we ended up buying a double sink that had the depth that we were looking for and we just cut it in half and installed one part of it. On the other side of the kitchen, we have our refrigerator. So we knew we were gonna be cooking a lot from home and making a lot of meals at home and it was important to us to not have to be frustrated or stressed out about how we could fit all that food storage in our house. And we also needed some freezer space because I love ice cream. We like to make smoothies every day. We needed that space too. So we ended up with a slightly bigger fridge than, than some people put in their small homes. But we're real happy about that. We also have a pull-out cutting board station and it's also extended prep space should we be cooking on one side and want to food prep on the other side just adding some retractable counter space where we could. We have the microwave for quick food prep, and then we have our pantry system with a pull-out drawer and some extra shelves for storage so we can have all of our pantry supplies in one place. And then we also have some extra storage mounted on the door. 